the blessings of obedience. Moses said to the Israelites, if you are loyal to the Lord, he will bless you. Love the Lord your God and do what he wants you to do. Always obey his laws, rules, and commands. We see in Deuteronomy this chapter 11, if you carefully obey the commands I am giving you today, and if you love the Lord your God and serve him with all your heart and soul, then he will send the rains in their proper seasons, the early and late rains, so you can bring in your harvest of grain, new wine, and olive oil. He will give you lust pasture land for your livestock, and you yourselves will have all you want to eat. These are the blessings of the promised land, God's rewards for obedience. But be careful. Do not let your heart be deceived so that you turn away from the Lord and serve and worship other gods. If you do, the Lord's anger will burn against you. He will shut up the sky and hold back the rain and the ground will fail to produce its harvest. Then you will quickly die in that good land the Lord is given to you. So commit yourselves wholeheartedly to these words of mine. Tie them on your hands. Wear them on your forehead as reminders. Teach them to your children. Talk about them when you are at home and when you are on the road, when you are going to bed, and when you are getting up, write them on your doorposts of your house and on your gates so that as long as the sky remain above the earth, you and your children may flourish in, a, in the land the Lord swore to give your ancestors. Thank God for the new covenant. The old covenant could not save us because no one other than Jesus Christ could keep it. We are saved by faith in Jesus Christ. We see in Galatians chapter 2 verse 20 and 21. <clears throat> it is no longer I who live, but it is Jesus Christ who lives in me. This life that I live now, I live by faith in the Son of God who loves me and gave his life for me. I refuse to reject the grace of God. But if a person is put right with God through the law, it means that Jesus Christ died for nothing. All who believes in Jesus Christ and have made him the Lord of their lives, God intended for them to prosper in the earth, just as he intended for the children of Israel to prosper in the promised land. Jesus Christ is our promised land. Second Corinthians 1 and 20 says, For all the promises of God in Jesus Christ are yes, and in him amen to the glory of God through us. The word of God for us is the most important thing. It is through the word that we can know God. If you know God through his word, then you can have a true relationship with God. We must study the word of God for ourselves so that we can know the promises of God. John 14, 12, and 13. Jesus said it. Anyone who believes in me will also do the things that I do. And he will do even greater things than these because I am going to the Father. And I will do whatever you ask in my name. This I will do so that the Father will be given glory because of the Son. God's word is true and we must accept it as truth. We see in Hebrews chapter 3, verse 19, the Israelites spend 40 years 
in the wilderness because of their unbelief. They refused to believe in, in God's power of deliverance. Moses and Aaron was not allowed to enter the promised land because they did not believe the Lord and sanctify him in the eyes of the children of Israel. Unlike Abraham, they refused to believe the promises of God. Scripture says in Romans chapter 4, verse 17 through 22, I have made you a father of many nations. Abraham believed when he stood in the presence of the God who gives life to dead people and calls into existence things that don't even exist. When there was nothing left to hope for, Abraham still hoped and believed. As a result, he became a father of many nations, as he had been told. That is how many descendants you will have. Abraham didn't weaken through faith. He regarded the fact his body was already as good as dead now that he was about 100 years old and Sarah was unable to have children. He didn't doubt God's promise out of lack of faith. Instead, giving honor to God for the promise, he became strong because of faith and was absolutely confident that God would do what he promised. That is why Abraham's faith, faith was regarded as the basis of his approval by God. Abraham is the father of all who believe. That is what the scripture means when God told him, I have made you the father of many nations. If you want the things God has promised to you, you must never doubt his promises. You must say about yourself what God has said about you. Jesus is our promised land. And we must believe we can do what the word of God says we can do. And we can have what the word of God says we can have. Jesus said, we must always pray and never give up. I'm Pastor Larry Cobb of the Redeeming Light Ministries. You have a blessed day.